All right, we're back with such a free in the easy. All right, so we're gonna do this uh, uh, frame shear and moment diagram problem, and uh, uh, you know it's got this is the frame shown. Oh, I gotta give you a dimension here, and this would be. Bam, we'll say, obviously not drawn to any sort of scale, but still 40 feet, okay? And uh, uh, let's see. So we're going to draw the shear moment diagram. So first thing you want to do is calculate reactions. Calculate reactions. And I'm going to do this in a little bit different than some of my other videos and, and just visualize this as unfolding as opposed to labeling I's and J's, okay? But, but you know, I, I really... It's kind of like when I when I go to solve this for the shear and moment diagrams, I'm going to kind of start from this corner over here and just go in a circle like that, okay? And I'm just going to move around the frame this way. Uh, this is not a moment, so don't be confused. And two, what we're going to do, the next thing I, I recommend doing is blowing up the structure. And when I say blowing it up, I mean, uh, you know, cutting it up, with here and blowing it up and then isolating all the joints as well blowing it up and drawing okay drawing a detailed with the de drawing detail with member end forces if you will member uh end end uh forces and moments slash moments right here and then third will be drawing the shear and di shear, drawing the diagrams draw Draw, oops, draw the and and diagrams. And already two minutes, and that's too much information already. But let's go. Let's get on with it. Uh, I'm not going to calculate the reactions in this example video. I imagine all of you know how to do it. You have here. This is statically determinant. I have a reaction here at if I call that A, B, C, and D. I have here uh, A X. Oh, A X. A Y and then D Y and if I do my calculations, oh, if I do my calculations, what I find is that these reactions are, I will have a horizontal reaction this way, from some of the forces in the X of 45 kips, uh, based on some of the moments about a joint and some of the forces in the Y, this will be 25 kips, right here, and then some of the forces in the Y or some of the moments about a point and this will give me 55 kips. So the first thing we had to do was calculate reactions with global equilibrium equations. All right. There. Bam. Okay. So now what we want to do is blow up this structure. Okay. And I'm going to start again going, starting from A, going all the way around B, C, D. Okay. So here at A. So give yourself enough space on paper. Uh, I, I start over here. Here's member one or A, B. And so at end A over here of this location, I had 25 kips going this way and 45 kips going this way. Okay. Between the joints, not the joint load, but between the joints, not this joint load here, but between the joints, I have a 20 kip concentrated load here, 20 kips. And, uh, um, and then I have over here, I got to calculate these reactions over here. So if I do some of the forces in, if I'm looking at this, if I look at some of the forces in the horizontal direction right here, I find that I've got, let's say, 20 minus 45, I would get 25 kips this way. To maintain equilibrium in the vertical direction up and down, I need 25 kips this way. And then to calculate the moment over here, I don't know what direction that moment is. Okay, I'll just assume it's that way right here. I would say some of the moments, uh, let me do this down here to make sure I have enough space. Some of the moments about the cut right there, some of the moments is equal to zero. So I'm going to calculate that real fast. Uh, let's see, I'll have M uh, minus or plus 20 kips times, I believe this distance was, 10 feet and this was also 10 feet so 20 kips times 10 feet minus 45 kips times 20 feet equals zero and that tells me m is equal to uh, 
700 kip feet right here. And so that means that this number right here, this moment here, and I got a positive result indicating that this direction is correct. So my moment here is 700 kip feet. Bam. Okay. Now I want to I want to take a closer look at the joint. So I'm going to blow up the joint over here. So I'm going to go to the joint. And here's the joint at A. I have uh, um, here's like the member that was cut and another member that was cut. So I cut out or isolate the joint. At the joint, I have a horizontal joint load of 10 kips going like this. Okay. I have equal and opposite from this this side from here to over here. I need to have equal and opposite. Okay, that's not a force. I just have to have equal opposite from this side to this side. I need equal and opposite. So that means 25 kips going to the right. That would say 25 kips going this way. Then I have 25 kips going down or downwards. And so this would be 25 kips going upwards. And then my moment would be equal and opposite. So I would have this would be 700 kip feet. Yeah. All right. Now I got to maintain equilibrium of this joint. This joint has no distances. Okay. So I can't have this thing rotating in space. So uh, let's see here. This thing right here, this has to be, I have to assume that these cuts are infinitesimally small so that there's no arms. So this is also going to be 700 kip feet to maintain equilibrium. If I do some of the, in the vertical direction, some of the forces in the vertical, I need 25 kips going down this way to maintain equilibrium. And then if I look at some of the forces in the horizontal in this case, this will be uh, 25 minus 10. That means I need to have 15 kips going this way to have joint equilibrium. Okay. And then now I can move on to the second member. That second member is over here like that. And I'm going to have equal and opposite now again. So I'll have here. 25 kips upwards, 15 kips this way, and 700 kip feet this way, 700 kip feet like that, all right? And then on this member here, which is 40 feet long, I have a uniformly distributed load that goes all the way here of 2 kip per foot. This is 2 kip per foot, okay? And I, I want to calculate my reactions, if you will, over here, right? So I have a, a vertical reaction here. This is going to be 25 um, minus 2 times 40 right here. So this, this reaction right here, here, right, let me give some labels to this for now. So initial labels that I'm going to replace. So V, uh, N, and M at this location right here. So if I do some of the forces in the vertical equal to zero, I would get V plus 25 kips minus two kip per foot times 40 feet equals zero. And that would tell me V is equal to 55 kips. So this V right here, I'm gonna turn it red because I know a number now. This V is no longer V, but it's just the force that's pointing up at 55 kips, okay? And then same thing here with the normal force, some of the forces in the horizontal. This tells me that this is 15 kips to the right, a force of 15 kips to the right. And then I look at moments. In the moments, it's going to be a little bit more involved. The resultant of this distributed load is 2 times 40. That's 80 kips here at a distance of 20 feet from this end. So if I sum moments about this point right here, some or right here, so I sum call that O this time again. O equals zero here, bam, like this. I would have M plus 80 kips times 40, 20 feet, which is the 20 feet, which is this distance to O, 20 feet right here. Um, minus 25 kips times 40 feet minus 700 kip feet equals zero. Oh, the suspense and the drama. Oh, man. And M is equal to some number that should be 700 minus 1600 plus 1000. 
is equal to uh, 100 kip feet. And it's positive, meaning that the direction that we said is okay. So I can turn this red now. Red, code red. It's like a drink in Mountain Dew. Oh, I bet many of you watching this video like code red. I do too. I'm not plugging anything, <laughs> okay? I wish I had sponsorship, but I don't, right? <laughs> Damn. All right. All right. So 100 kip feet. All right, video sponsored by Mountain Dew. What's up? <laughs> anyway, no, it's not. All right, shoot, that'll be a first. That might change all of education, huh? Anyway, all right, all right. So here, a hundred kip feet. Bam, going on. Now we can go to that joint. You know the story now. So here, I go to this joint here. Uh, let's not put any mystery to it. I solved this pretty quickly. I have, I think. So here. Here's this other joint right there. Bam, I've got a joint load of five kips here. So, you know, one thing people always forget to do is put that joint load in there. But equal and opposite, so I've got the 15 kips going this way, the 55 kips going this way, and the 100 kip feet going that way right here. And then reactions, 100 kip feet. Okay, bam. And then uh, vertical, this right here, 55 kips. And then the um, the what is it the uh, the shear on this face, if you will, will be fifteen minus five. It'll be ten, going this way. Ten kips. That's what I, hopefully that wasn't too sloppy. That looks kind of sloppy. Let me let me do that one more time. Let me correct that here. This would be um, ten kips going this way. The fifty-five going upwards, and then the moment right here, one hundred kip feet, right there. Bam, and then now the last member over here, right here again, equal and opposite, right? And so 100 kip feet, 55 kips this way, and 10 kips this way. And that means over here on this end, right over here, uh-oh, I spell trouble. No trouble, no trouble. Dang, I almost forgot the loading. The loading is 10 kips on the on the load here, right here. And then I know from the other side, I've got reaction, one reaction of 55 kips. And if I did everything right, this last member should be in equilibrium as well. Okay, and so if I look at forces in the horizontal, I've got 10 minus 10 equals zero, good. In the Y, 55 minus 55 is zero. And then I could do a moment equilibrium about a point and I should get 100 kip feet. And in fact, if I took moment equilibrium about this point, 10 times this distance right here, which is 10 feet, will be 100 kip feet. Booyah, right? ka ching ka ching, -ching. <laughs> All right. Now let's move on to drawing these diagrams. So usually what people like to do is have these diagrams right here, these blown up things, and then have some more space up here to draw their diagrams on top. Okay, but we don't have enough space. So I'm just gonna go member by member here. So if I, and I think once you see two of them, you'll be all right with the rest. So here, if I start, so let's say I, I'm kind of like turning my board, my tablet, but here, this would be that first member. We'll call this, let me label these members for us. That way there's no confusion. There's member one, member two, member three. Okay, all right here. And so what I would have at member one, this is member one, I have the horizontal right here. I have all the end moments and things or end loading. So I have here the uh, the uh, 45 right here. Oh, I got to read 25 kips this way. And then the 25 and the, um, this was, what was this? 25, 25, 700, 25. 700 okay and i can draw my three diagrams so i'll draw my diagrams up on top oh shoot am i gonna have enough space damn let me just do it on the bottom okay sorry boom boom and i'm missing something i'm missing the concentrated load of 10 kips was it 20 kips to the right so bam 20 kips this way to the right 
And so here, the first diagram over here would be my axial force diagram. Yeah, so there's my N. Is that like an N? It looks kind of like an N. I gotta turn my. T oh, what's on? Oh, shoot. I don't know. All right. Shoot. Okay, I have some technical difficulties. I'll come back.